Hey guys, it's Julie, Juju Sparkle Bean. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by and watching my video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and watching my videos. Well, I have something super awesome, and who says that you can't find anything at thrift stores? Well, on Sunday, I found this hot little beauty. Guess where? My local Goodwill. And the crazy thing is about this bag, it was so crazy. I was literally going and looking through the bags and I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this one bag around. It looked like this. And I thought, oh, wow, there's quilting. There's quilting on this bag. I'm just gonna flip it around and see what it was. And lo and behold, I talked to one of the sales associates over at Goodwill and he had literally purposely flipped the bag over, over to make sure Actually, he wanted someone to really make take the time to actually turn it around. And so I was laughing because I was like, oh my gosh, you did that on purpose because you want us to work for it. You know, you want us to, to see um, what is what kind of treasures you have. And he goes, yep. He goes, now that I know that you like Chanel, he goes, I have different people that come in every day during the week. They like Coach, they had like Michael Kors, but I happened to find this bag, you guys, for $5.99. They had this Chanel priced at $5.99. I was like, oh my gosh, no way. So exciting. So it came with this chain um, on it. And I what I did is I have like an extra backup chain. So I put this chain right here. See this chain right here? I went ahead and put this chain because right now, as you probably know, if you're following trends, that the multi, the Louis Vuitton uh, multi pochette has like all kinds of things going on with it. And I thought, oh my goodness, this Chanel bag has this little thing going on with it. I've never seen a bag like this before, because check this out. So the back has this zipper compartment, and this is all attached. It has the, it has like eight credit card slot pockets, and then it closes and zips like this. And that is on the back of this bag. Then the other part, um, let me go ahead and open this so you can see what it looks like. It zips, it has the, it's so cool. It has the Chanel um, Paris right here, if you could see that. Guys, I was freaking out on <laughs> Sunday. I was like, oh my gosh, because I was this close to not stopping by there because I was so tired and I was just so like, no, I don't want to. And then there was this little thing. My husband was like, no, no, no. We should definitely go by and just just see. See what they have. And sure enough, look, I found this little gem. I found this gem. $5.99, you guys. So you open it. It's so adorable. I, I put some stuff in it. Oh, here's the receipt. So this one's from Goodwill. And look, guys. $5.99. There it is right there. See it? $5.99. Paid five ninety nine for this for this Chanel bag, and so this is what it looks like inside. Let me take out. It has a red interior. It has it says Chanel right here, um, Ch Chanel made in France. There you can see. It has a back zipper pocket. It has this super cute. It has a zipper pull, and it's got this little gold. Uh, hardware um, zipper pull and it has the CC on there you should see on the zipper pull it has the Chanel logo on it I could not believe that I found this cute little gem at the local Goodwill store 
Thank you, Goodwill. Or, actually, thank you, whoever dropped this off. I don't know why you would want to drop off such a cute bag. Um, but anyways, so I had to, I had to share this with you guys. I'm sorry this is something that you probably, well, you can't find this. I don't even, I've never seen this style of a handbag before on any of the websites. Um, I don't even know. I've never seen anything like it before. So it's super unique. And it's got, I went ahead and just kind of did this cute stuff going on. Oh, wow. I got a bruise right there. I didn't know I had that. I just can't get over how cool this bag is. So here's the moral of the story. If you feel like you should stop somewhere at a store and you're like, nah, maybe I shouldn't, nah, just stop by. You just don't know what you're going to find at your local thrift store because the merchandise is always changing and they put things out as they get them. And so if you're there at the right time, boom, find treasures like this little treasure just like this cute little bag so you could wear this crossbody um, I believe you could probably even like I've seen this another youtuber she had wrapped the uh, chain around her hand her wrist and then the, you know carried it like a wristlet but there's so many different ways you could switch out the um, the chain handle strap here and then put your own your own um, handle you could try it you could change it the strap out to something different but yeah so happy that I found this you guys such a gem and so I also wanted to show you something else really cool too so if you are a crafter like me um, I used to do a lot more crafting when I about a year or two ago but I kind of stopped because I got really busy well, anyways, at my local Daiso store in San Jose, California, I found these button covers. And you've at the local Daiso Daiso store, um, everything's like a dollar fifty unless it's marked otherwise. But these are button covers, and as you can see, it has like the um, button item. It has the covers, and then it's a kit basically, and then it has the mechanism to go ahead and seal it. So um, what you do is you um, put fabric in there, and then you put this, you put the cover on top, you put the metal thing, and then you put the fabric on top of it, you put the metal covering on it, over it, and then this thing right here seals it. So it just kind of, you have to push it down and then it kind of clamps it down and then it becomes like a button. Well, I'm gonna show you something really cool. So I had a Louis Vuitton scarf and I just, I didn't really wear it. And look, I made my own button covers with it. So I cut the fabric up and then I made my own Louis Vuitton button covers. You guys check that out so they're so cool so here's what the back looks like so you can see um the fabric once you you've covered it the metal part it uh it's you know the fabric you could also use different type of fabrics but i just happen to have um, a louis vuitton um scarf cheap scarf that i got from uh, like dh gate or Winello. i can't remember and I just felt okay cutting it up. So, and you can see this one has the little area where the little loop, the metal loop that you could sew it onto your clothing. So I made my own Louis Vuitton buttons. So here's, so it was like that. And then I was gonna go ahead, you know, kind of do that. Or you could just like, you know, sew it on but anyways, I thought that was so cool. I just wanted to share that with you. So if you go to your local Daiso, if you don't have a Daiso, it's a Japanese dollar store. Um, they have some uh, close by, actually in San Jose, it's about maybe an hour and a half away from where I live, but stock up on these and then you can make your own button covers. So see, you can make your own button covers and I just put them in here for right now. Anyways, 
So that's my Chanel bag, my Louis Vuitton button covers. Oh, and then I got another one of these. So if you watched my other video, the one that I just made last, I got a black version of this Bulldog keychain. And so I ordered another one. Actually, I bought another black one. I got, I got that one for my daughter, Victoria. And I got this one. I wanted to get a white one for my light colored bags and they got a white bulldog so, so cute <laughs> I love it and so this one has the uh, metal keychain and this one's silver the other one's like um, like a brushed metal dark metal but isn't that one cute so cute all right love it so and one more thing that I wanted to go ahead and show you guys that I got from Amazon, this is from Amazon, are these beautiful earrings that I saw. So right now the rage, because of like Chanel and different um, fashion designers on the runway, the heart shape, the heart shape is back again when it comes to earrings. So I got me a pair of earrings from this brand. It's called AD, uh, Allen and Don Me. And when I saw these earrings on the Amazon website, they have a very organic look to them, like handmade, you know? And then it's got this pearl drop. So I'm super excited. I'm gonna open this with you. I love this box, you guys. It gives me like Tiffany vibes, right? Doesn't it give you Tiffany vibes too? And let's take a look at them. So, ooh, wow, pretty packaging. Ah, uh, and so this is what they look like. They're, oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Look at that, you guys, they're gorgeous. Has this beautiful uh, pearl drop and they're big. Aren't those gorgeous? So I'm gonna try these on for you. I love that. Um, just give you a little close up as you can see. So, it does have this very organic look to it. It has pearls, small baby pearls around the metal of the heart. It has a, um, I love the uh, lever backs, not lever backs, but more drop earrings instead of the actual ones that are on. But look at those, those are so pretty, you guys. So I'm going to try those on for you and what they look like and they're beautiful so take this off and oh my gosh you guys these are so light and just so comfortable and just so pretty so here is what they look like aren't those gorgeous I just love the little drop, the little pearl drop here, and just how light and just, just very, gives me like these boutique vibes. And I found these on Amazon. So if you are interested in these gorgeous um, heart earrings, I'm gonna go ahead and link them in the description box below, just for you guys. So I believe these were only $10, so. I'm just loving that pearl. Very, very, very elegant and just gives me like really classy vibes and I think they're perfect for for all year round, but especially right now in the fall, fall winter months. So anyways, so thank you guys for joining me. It's always fun to just talk to you. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you to all my subscribers. And thank you to a one subscriber that did notice that I hadn't posted in like over a week or so. And so I just want to try to make sure that I at least post once, once a week at least. So anyways, have a fantastic day no matter where you are in the world. And I will see you again very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.